guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We're here in Austin, Texas in this big giant field filled with grasshoppers, but you know what? We're gonna keep on playing through because I have something new a lot of you have been waiting for. This is it, this is that 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz. This one though is the top trim, the limited trim. But before we get into what Hyundai is calling a sport adventure vehicle, let's talk about what's going on here, Hyundai. You would think they have been doing the business for way longer here in the United States than what they have. It's been since the 1980s, which seems like forever and a day ago, but you know what? Really hasn't been that long, and boy oh boy are they bringing some big things to market here in the United States and of course other places in the world. Now, coming on the heels of so many new models, the Palisade, the redesign of the Sonata, the redesign of the Tucson, we now have a first time for Hyundai. This is basically a compact truck. Now they may not say that publicly, but this sport adventure vehicle is sort of like a Tucson with a bed that's been attached to it. And you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, aren't there already trucks, small trucks that exist? Yes, there's mid-sized trucks. Once upon a time, there were lots of compact sized trucks. That's what a Tacoma used to be. That's what a Ranger used to be. But those trucks have grown in size which is now opening up the market for something smaller like this Santa Cruz. Now, right now there's one competitor and one competitor only, that's gonna be the Ford Maverick. But what I wanna find out is, has Hyundai done it right going with this sport adventure type of vehicle rather than just calling it a straight up truck? Have they given enough for the price? And is this the best new truck overall or sport adventure vehicle? to buy today. Let's go ahead. Let's find out what our 2022 limited trim Santa Cruz. Right off the bat, the styling really falls in alignment with the other vehicles that Hyundai is bringing to market, like the Palisade and definitely like the Tucson and the Santa Fe. On our Santa Cruz, you're going to get those very unique LED daytime running lamps. It actually flows into the grill and becomes elements of the grill. Very unique style something that at night separates it from the rest of the pack. On the limited trim, you're getting a bunch of bling, 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 chromey bits compared to the SEL or the other trims. Down below, you're gonna have those projector beam style LED lights, that separate setup with your turn signals that are LED built into the same housing. I like the way they brought just a little bit of flat black. Everything else is gonna be that chrome finish and I want to apologize for all the dust and dirt. We are here at the Texas Truck Rodeo and this thing has been seeing a little bit of off-road duty. So please excuse the dust and dirt. We're just working out hard here, out here in the hot sun in Austin, but we're gonna continue. Coming across the grill, having a little bit of mud on there, it's okay. Trucks and sport adventure vehicles are supposed to be a little dirty. So what do we have? We have that nice size Hyundai badging with our forward-facing camera more of those chrome finish elements, large chrome strip in the section, middle section, and on that bottom portion as well. But like I said, really shows the connection between the Santa Fe, the Tucson, and definitely the Palisade. Now, when we get up onto the hood, I like the way the hood just meets with the grill instead of having more front fascia. And then the body line is really simple, kind of rise up, go towards the windshield. We come around the bend. When you go limited trim, automatically you're going to get all-wheel drive. So you're going to get that power to get down to the ground by all four wheels. Great looking wheel design. You'll notice this VY style of a design, machined aluminum with the gloss black. That's a 20 inch wheel and we're running Michelin tires, 245 on the width, 50 series sidewall. Interesting how normally a fender flare flares outward. These actually flare inward and it has a very interesting design, that triangle design that comes from the grill. They brought it on the fender treatment with a little tiny Santa Cruz there. Nice little Easter egg, let you know that, hey, you're in a sport adventure vehicle or what most people would say, a compact truck. Like the wheel style, especially with the fender shape going on, very unique. And that's the thing is with this Santa Cruz, you are definitely gonna stand out from the rest of the crowd because of that unique style course fully ventilated rotors and like I said that H-Track all-wheel drive system. Now going from the wheels on up to the mirror caps, love the nice finish body colored. 
matching on those side mirror caps with the LED lights. We got 360 degree cameras. You're gonna have flat black roof rails. Put a kayak holder up there, put a, a mountain bike holder, even put a cargo box if you want to. I like the way they didn't put any shiny chrome finish around the window treatment. I do like that nice body indentation on the bottom portion of the doors and also the way that the lower sill area curves underneath instead of sticking out. Working our way towards the rear, you got the rear pillar. This really reminds me of the first gen Honda Ridgeline. I actually think that this gives it a lot of style from the side of the vehicle. One thing I also forgot to point out is you're gonna get that triangular rise on the front doors like you would find on a Tucson. So they did bring some of those Tucson styling elements to this truck. Love this rear pillar, especially the way they have this flat black roof spoiler extending out onto the back bed portion. You got more of that triangular design, same inner flare setup with our all wheel drive and those rear fenders. And then coming around back, smart engineering. We got a nice large corner step. I don't know if Lori could show off. It actually says in that rear taillight housing, designed in California. So this was actually done for the US here, right in the US. Now, this limited trim is the only truck, believe it or not, brand new, that comes with its own tonneau cover. And it's a really nice operating system. You could work it with the tailgate up or the tail tailgate down. I'm actually gonna slide it all the way forward and then we're gonna focus on the back portion here. You're gonna have those nice looking taillights. The way they intersect into the actual tailgate looks great. Santa Cruz just stamped right there. And then of course you're gonna get that H-Track, that's that all wheel drive system, the 2.5 liter T, T means turbo. Working our way down, a little bit more chrome to wrap it up. And then even the truck, I love the Easter eggs. Look at the way they took the Santa Fe design, Santa Cruz, and put it there on the rear bumper. And then of course, you're gonna have that nice soft release on the tailgate four and a half foot bed, really makes it usable. You got all your tie down locations, LED lighting, which is fantastic. You could move these different tr uh, tie downs on the track, forward or back. But the best part is this, just like the Ridgeline taken right from that playbook from Honda, we have a lockable rear storage compartment that actually doubles as a cooler and has its own drain plug. So the ice melts, you then can drain the water out and then it's really easy to put the drain plug back in. One, two, three, close that up, close this up. And if you're wondering, well, how do we close the rear tonneau cover? Look at that. Just pull it all the way back, locks into place, nice and secure, and you're ready to rock and roll. But why don't we pop the hood and see what's powering our Santa Cruz. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have a prop rod, but the good news is it's all the way over to the left-hand side. What is underneath that hood? Tasteful engine cover. You're looking at that 2.5 liter inline four turbocharged engine. The turbo is mounted against the firewall under that bright, shiny heat shield metal work there at the back portion of the engine compartment. So you're looking at 281 horsepower, 311 pound-feet of torque. That's more power than even from the optional engine in the Ford Maverick. It's mated to an eight-speed DCT. It has the all-wheel drive standard, zero to 60 in about 7.5 seconds. Top speed is governed to 120 miles an hour. The truck weighs 4,100 pounds. MPGs, 19 in the city, 26 on the highway, and can tow up to 5,000 pounds. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, how much ground clearance do we have? You have 8.6 inches of ground clearance underneath this truck. But you know what? Let's go ahead. Let's get to that interior and see what big things are in store in this Santa Cruz. All right, guys, we're inside this 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz. This is the limited trim. This is the top dog. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I watched your SEL trim. I love that one. And if you haven't seen the SEL trim, by the way, I didn't mean to interrupt you, sorry. But if you haven't seen the SEL trim, I'll leave the link for that one at the end of this review. But I go back to what you were saying. Yes, you were saying how I seen your SEL trim, Santa Cruz. I'm really excited for this limited trim. How much is it? So MSRP for the way that this one sits starts at 40,000 and can be optioned up to $42,000. Let's see what you get for the money. 
to the door panels. I like the clean style, and this is something that Hyundai has really worked on, is upping the game on the door panels. Soft touch material up top. The silver with the gloss black is very, very tasteful. What I think is gonna probably be an issue for some is the amount of gloss black around the switch gear. That's gonna be fingerprint heaven, so make sure you have your Santa Cruz microfiber cloth to clean off the fingerprints. I do like the stitching on that center portion, and the armrest is actually nice and soft. Door pocket, you could put easily two drumsticks there. No, not drumsticks from your drum set. I'm talking about two chicken legs, fried chicken pieces here in Texas, and a bottle of Pepsi to wash it down. We got the optional Bose sound system. And then when you go from the door panel to the dash, you could see how it really has that nice curve coming from the door panel into this top portion. There's a little bit of this cloth material, which is gonna be where your speaker is, but other than that, really clean. And if you like minimalistic, you're gonna like this setup. No knobs, no switch gear. I don't know how you feel about that. I personally would like some things that I could touch, but you have a 10.25 inch infotainment system, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Once you figure out how to use it, it is very, very intuitive. When I go into, say for example, media, that's when you could get into your Sirius XM, the sounds of nature, all those different things. I'll throw it into reverse. There's your backup camera. Super clear on the resolution, especially the 360 with trajectory. We could go ahead and do different angles. Really, really nice, simple to use. I do like that, especially when you're gonna tow. Remember, you could tow up to 5,000 pounds with this Santa Cruz, and then I'm gonna go ahead and throw it right back in the park, and that's where we're back again. You have your volume, everything is gonna be all push button, but it's not an actual physical button, you're just touching this gloss black area. You do have dual climate, which is nice. I like the way they put a little truck insignia there because we are in that Tucson with a bed, the Santa Cruz USBs, and a 12 volt, which is a nice setup. Plus you got wireless charging, this is gonna control that eight speed DCT. You can lock the center diff, which is a nice touch. You got hill descent control, the different drive modes. I'll show you more of that when you come to the business end. Two cup holders and then look at what we got. Ventilated seats, heated seats, and heated steering wheel. Push the button, bam. Look at all that room in there. You could easily put, I would say, four oranges in there. So there's some orange trees back there. We're gonna pick some oranges, put them in there, make some juice. Make sure you get every drop. Here is your Hyundai key fob. Same system, looking good with the remote start on the back side. I'll put that back, close it up. Seats, nice soft material. A Little bit of silver trim to kind of brighten things up. Now the Zonk is, this is all manual control. I do like the comfort. It's just manual controls for the passenger seat. You would think at $40,000 you would have electric for everybody, but you do get a standard size sunroof, which is great. Over here on the driver's side, I got plenty of room. I'm six feet tall, got plenty of room in this compact sport adventure vehicle, also known as a compact truck. Coming over though to the business end, I wanna show you behind this 10.25 inch screen that really is gonna make your eyes dazzle. Hey guys, business time behind the wheel. You do have your seat controls, nice electric assist, like I said, for the driver, including that lower lumbar. Ooh, that feels good, especially when you're on the road all day. I got plenty of room. Steering wheel. I'm actually digging the steering wheel in the Santa Cruz. They did a great job with the leather, the gray contrast stitching, a little bit of silver, a little bit of flat black. Even the horn button looks tasteful with that silver trim. You do have a mixture of some silver and some gloss black buttons and paddles on the back of the steering wheel to go up and down that eight speed DCT transmission, manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And like I promised you, I got another 10 inches. Are you ready? 10.25 inch gauge cluster right there. You could see the different modes. We're in sport mode, of course. I could go into smart, that boosts your IQ. We could go into snow mode. Don't need that today in hot Austin, Texas. Back to sport and there's normal, but who the heck wants to be normal? Let's keep it in sport. Of course, we also have our change view cameras. Love that action, the clarity. That's technology nobody else is bringing. Really great to have it in the Santa Cruz limited trim. Let's get into the back seat and see if your passengers are gonna feel cramped in this Santa Cruz. Right, guys, time to uh, check out this back seat. And before I let you in, watch this. One, two, three, boom. Actual under seat storage on the rear seats. 
So smart to have this kind of space in here. You could put those Christmas gifts. If you're hiding them from the kids, they always find them in your closet. They always find them under the kitchen sink or maybe up in the attic. Keep them in your Santa Cruz until, until Santa Claus comes, and then you could take them out. Just don't let them know about this space. Don't let them watch Rady's Rides for this review. You're gonna pull the tag, flips right down, seats. You do have the plastic, which I guess is okay for when your kids are picking their nose, you could wipe it off. I'm just not a big fan of this, these cargo net things. You put a set of scissors in here, a knife, you know, maybe a hatchet, it's gonna rip right through that. So I am gonna zonk the cargo net. We do have rear AC vents, which are nice, two USBs, and then space. I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, the seat's gonna come back a little bit. So for somebody six feet tall with long legs, it's gonna be a little bit more tight, but not as tight as like say a Tacoma, and that is a mid-sized truck. Armrest, no armrest. So my advice is bring a pillow pet and have that back here so that you can rest your arm on maybe two pillow pets, depending on how comfy you wanna be. We do have manual sliding. Hello, manual sliding rear glass. If somebody is hiding in that uh, rear bed, you could throw something at them. If you like them, throw the pillow pet. If you don't like them, throw a hatchet or something. Close it up, like the space, but you know what? Let's go ahead, we got the keys. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go on throttle in our new Santa Cruz. All right guys, we're inside this 2022 Santa Cruz limited trim. Very easy to get to everything, which is wonderful. It's just, there's no, like I said, no physical knobs, which I'm kind of missing. The dash though, that digital gauge instrumentation, you would think without an actual hood over it, it'd be a bunch of glare. There is no glare. We do have it in sport mode. And of course, we're gonna start off with some on throttle. So if you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, here we go. No slip, all grip from that H-Track all-wheel drive system. You got that very fast shifting eight-speed DCT transmission. You, with the DCT, you are waiting a little bit, especially with this being a turbocharged engine, you are waiting for that boost and everything to, to start going. But once you're going, I'm telling you, it really allows that power to be felt and used very, very effectively. Driving down this back road, I love the action from the suspension the way the information is coming from the front end through the steering wheel. I would like just a little bit more weight to the steering wheel. It feels, there's a little bit of numbness at top dead center, but other than that, feeling pretty good going through these twisty bits. And another great thing about this truck, or I should say sport adventure vehicle, whatever you wanna call it, is that you're not getting a ton of road noise from the tires. There is a little bit of wind noise, but not too much road noise, which is great. But uh, let's go on throttle a little bit through these twisty bits here, and I can show you how it handles. Really, really smooth on the brakes, downhill. Watch it go over this bump down here, over this little bridge, watch this. Woo. Nice, look at that, grips it, grabs it. We're good to go. I'm gonna take the shifter, move it over to the left. Now, the reason why I did that is now I could shift with the paddles. So I'm downshifting into this right hand bend. On throttle, here we go. Nice fast shifts. Downshifts seem a little smoother to be honest with you, a little quicker than the upshifts, but let me slow down a little bit more here. Then we're gonna do an on throttle from a dead stop. You do have a small gauge indicator and what gear that you're in for that gauge area right there. But let's stop. We're in first gear, as you can see. On throttle, here we go. We're waiting a little bit, and then we're off. Love the clarity of the dash. Really nice and smooth. I'm gonna put it back over to regular automatic mode. And then what I'm also gonna do is, I don't know if you could tell, by the sound, it's holding the revs, it just dropped it. I'm gonna go ahead and change the mode. So we're gonna go into normal mode. Now, that's gonna adjust how the throttle sensitivity is, the steering sensitivity, and how the transmission interacts with the engine. So it's nice to have those distinct different personalities from normal to sport 
too smart, so on and so forth. Visibility out the back is wonderful. Side mirrors are great. Of course, you're gonna get all that safety technology, uh, blind spot monitoring, lane keep assist. Seats feel comfortable, which is great. Especially for the driver's side, having that electric assist, I just feel bad for the passenger. They should have electric assist as well. But hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel. We're gonna take it out onto this main highway road and show the cruising capability of this new Santa Cruz. All right guys, we're pulling out onto this main stretch of road, getting up to speed. And just gonna show, I'm gonna get up to about the speed limit. And we're just gonna show how the vehicle drives. It really, really drives as you would expect. It's, it's perfect for people who think that they want a truck but don't really want a truck. I know that sounds confusing, but it's nice to have that bed for all that stuff you want to throw into the back of it, but also have just a normal experience driving behind the wheel. Because a truck can have some unique attributes that does not really fit with many people. But this, you're kind of getting the best of both worlds. But even over the ripped up areas of pavement, soaks up the bumps nice. Super smooth, I got the ventilated seats on, and you got all that great connectivity. But hopefully this has been enough info to let you know what the Santa Cruz, especially at limited trim, is bringing for the money. We're gonna get back to where it all started and wrap this one up, so I will see you in a split second. All right guys, it's been an amazing day here in Austin, Texas. I definitely gotta thank the whole Hyundai team, especially Lori, for getting us the Santa Cruz here at the Texas Truck Rodeo. Let me know what you think. Is it worth the price going all the way limited trim? Are you gonna spend a little bit more and get a mid-sized truck? Let me know in that comment section, has Hyundai done enough? And really, is this what the future brings and holds for the small truck community in the auto industry? But if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you in the channel, click that link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to the queen of the camera. Great communicator, great, wonderful person making things happen. That's what she does. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.